Cynthia wrote in, are there seemingly basic life skills that many people lack? Okay. I, I don't, a, anytime we get these questions, I worry that I'm going to offend people. And then someone writes in and says, David, don't worry about offending people. Just give us your opinion. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. The ability to communicate effectively in written form. OK, this is a basic life skill that way too many people lack. I communicate with people who have not insignificant jobs and roles that they are involved in that require writing and they are writing like they are in fourth or fifth grade. Right. And I find it very, very off putting because it generally makes me question if their writing is like this, what's their thinking like? Have you experienced that, Pat, without naming anybody, but even like in guest booking for the show, that some people can't communicate well in written form? Right. Or so sometimes I'll offer two dates for an interview to them and they'll respond by saying yes. So then you have to follow <laughs> up like which one then that's not really an answer to this question. Yeah, I, I think that's a skill that is lacking. Number two, basic financial skills, just very simple financial skills, the time value of money, right? The, the, the concept of how the time value of money has to be adjusted, whether you're thinking about money available in the future or now interest rates, uh, uh, et cetera. Um, the basics of debt, right? I mean, just basic personal finance and understanding credit and debt and how to make a budget. I know so many people who I know are not doing well financially and they seem to have incredibly lax control over just charging 50 bucks in a few drinks at an expensive bar or whatever. And I, I, it, it just, those basic financial skills are significantly lacking. And I don't know, Pat, since you're younger, do you see, I think the financial skills hopefully will come with age, although it doesn't always happen that way in the United States. Do you see friends of yours who just seem to spend uncontrollably? Oh, maybe so, because, you know, you get out of college where you may have been making some minimum wage salary uh, and then you get, you know, something that you're qualified for and you're going to be obviously making a lot of money. But then you don't realize that you now have expenditures, too, like rent and student loans and all of that. So I definitely yeah. have seen that as well. Basic critical thinking skills. Too many people lack the ability to critically analyze messages that they're given. And I know that this relates specifically to, to, to what I'm teaching at uh, Boston College and have been lecturing on, but basic critical thinking skills. Can you identify when you are being given a conclusion that doesn't follow from the premises and you are being led astray? And that relates to media literacy as well. I, I don't, you know, I, my instinct is that the problem is partially that those skills aren't being taught early in school. Um, certainly not in elementary school. I don't really think in middle school or high school, at least in many parts of the country, but I meet so many people and maybe, maybe because we work in media, Pat, we notice it even more, but I'll bump into someone who casually will say, Hey, did you see what's going on with X or Y? I saw a news story about it and it's immediately obvious that they have no clue what the story is about. They might have heard a headline and didn't go any further than, further than that, or they heard one news story and are completely unable to critically analyze it. And this leads to people like Trump getting elected, sadly. Yeah, and it's not even worth it to bring it up in the first place if you haven't looked at the source and read the article. I completely agree with you there. I'm thinking about just basic cleaning skills. Like, I've lived with uh, <laughs> people in an apartment, and, um, you know, sometimes they would have a tray of food and go a few hours without attempting to clean it. And then obviously the food will stick to the plate a little bit and they just try to throw it into the dishwasher thinking that it will magically wash the dish. You got to do a little bit more than that. You've got to soak those plates, you right? I mean, what, uh, what, what you, you, you think that things are just going to be clean if you toss them in the dishwasher? No doubt. And I, I think with that one, just general lack of knowledge about, you know, you do want to change your sheets with some regularity and usually you want to wash those in warm water and it's a pretty good idea to, you, you know, sweep and mop the floors in the bathrooms <laughs> every once in a while. I know a lot of people who still, even in their thirties, don't really ever clean their apartments, which is. It, it strikes me as odd, doesn't it? Yeah, I think they just start to get used to it. But if you're having guests over frequently, that reason alone should be enough for you to clean your habitat. What, uh, what I would give for uh, a camera in Pat's place when he's hosting a cocktail party, that would be, uh, that would be an experience. Maybe I think the, the video is available would. online. Who knows? Maybe it already is out there.